Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am sharing five variations on a clean and delicious basic vinaigrette salad dressing so that you and I never have to eat a boring salad again. And because I do not want to take the chance of you watching this video and then forgetting what you've learned, I have also created this handy dandy PDF that you can print out and hang on your fridge so you never have to be without a great salad dressing again. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll tell you how to access that. But in the meantime, let's chat about the variations we'll be making today. So I'm gonna be showing you an Italian vinaigrette, a sweet balsamic vinaigrette, my apple cider vinaigrette, a nutty sesame vinaigrette, and then finally a bright and fresh lemon vinaigrette. Traditionally speaking, a vinaigrette is a three to one ratio. So it's three parts oil to one part vinegar or acid. But I like to make it with a one to one ratio. I find that one, this makes for a lighter dressing, and two, I love the light, bright, tart flavor that comes with this particular ratio. So I want to encourage you to give my ratio a try. And then of course you can always tweak it and adjust it to get it exactly the way you like it. And I also think it's worth mentioning that all of these salad dressings can also double as a marinade for grilled chicken or steak. So a little FYI for you. So with no further ado, let's get started on our Italian vinaigrette. This is our family's go-to weeknight staple salad dressing. This is the version that you will find on our dinner table almost every night of the week because I love serving a green salad along with basically anything that we're having for dinner. And this is my no-brainer go-to dressing. So you wanna get yourself a small bowl or a spouted cup like I have here. And into that bowl goes one clove of crushed garlic, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, which is great because it's just a mix of some different um, herbs, including oregano, marjoram, thyme, basil, rosemary, and organic sage. So if you guys don't wanna buy a ton of different spices for your spice jar, buying blends like this can really save you. I'll give that a pinch of salt, some black pepper, and then a quarter cup each of red wine vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. Gently whisk that all together and it's ready to go. This simple vinaigrette is really great on any basic salad that you enjoy. So next up, I have my balsamic vinaigrette. So again, we are starting with one clove of crushed garlic, one teaspoon of honey, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and then a quarter cup each balsamic vinegar, and extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead and whisk out all together. And you're gonna see that this variation is very similar to the Italian vinaigrette, but the balsamic vinegar with the honey makes for a slightly sweeter flavor. And I really like to use this dressing if I'm serving a salad with some grilled chicken or some grilled salmon. So next up is the apple cider vinaigrette. And I've actually shared this recipe with you guys once before when I shared our autumn chopped salad. So I'm gonna to link to that salad down in the description box below. But for the dressing, what you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna start with one clove of crushed garlic. Then I've got two tablespoons of finely diced onion, two teaspoons of honey, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and then a quarter cup each of apple cider vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead and whisk that all together and it's ready to roll. Now, just a little FYI guys, whenever you're working with apple cider vinegar, you always want to buy one that has the mother. And what that's gonna look like is like some debris hanging out at the bottom of the bottle like you can see here. That is a good thing and that is what you want because what that means is that the vinegar has been fermented. And that fermentation is going to ensure that you've got lots of probiotics in your vinegar and those probiotics are gonna to help to support your gut and your immunity. So always make sure that you look for a brand that has the mother. Next on the docket, we've got a sesame vinaigrette, and this one is so good. It's got this really mild, nutty flavor to it. So guess what? We are starting with one clove of crushed garlic, along with one teaspoon of honey, and then one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. You could also do a tamari or some coconut aminos here. A pinch of salt, some black pepper, and then a quarter cup each, rice wine vinegar, and toasted sesame oil. Whisk that all together, and yet again, you've got another variation of a clean and delicious basic vinaigrette. Now, personally, I love this dressing with a really 
crunchy salad, something that is packed with carrots and cucumbers and red cabbage and maybe some bell peppers. I just find the more crunch, the better. And if you were making a salad with this dressing and you've got some sesame seeds on hand, that also adds a lovely finishing touch. And finally, I am showing you a lemon vinaigrette. This one is really great if you love a fresh, bright flavor. So to get started, again, we've got one clove of crushed garlic, along with a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, and then just a pinch of salt and pepper, along with a quarter cup each, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and extra virgin olive oil. Whisk that all together, and this salad dressing is ready to roll. And while the salad dressing would be great on really any type of salad, I especially love it with arugula because this dressing is so bright and fresh and the arugula is a little bit spicy. So I find together they make a beautiful pair. Now all of these recipes will yield you about a half a cup of salad dressing and you can store them in an airtight container and they will last happily in the fridge for a good 10 days. Now remember guys, if you want to print my handy dandy PDF to hang on your fridge, all you have to do is go down to the description box below and I have a link for you. Click on that link, enter your name and your email and you will be prompted to download the PDF. And this way you will never be without a great salad dressing again. And I'm sure as you noticed, a lot of these dressings, they're just small tweaks to really change the flavor. So getting the hang of this before you know it, you'll be making these five and you'll probably come up with five or 10 more of your own. And when you do, I'd like to see you down in the comments below or on social media, snapping a picture, tagging clean and delicious and sharing with the rest of the community. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Now, traditionally speaking, vinaigrettes are a one to three ratio, but I like, and we'll be doing today, a one to one. But personally, I like a one to one ratio. So I do uh, one part oil. So I do. So I do one part oil to one part. I don't need to explain that because I already said that. Last time, here we keep it tighter. Traditionally, a vinaigrette is a three to one ratio. So that's three parts olive oil, three parts oil. Traditionally, a dressing, here we go, pee, poo, pa, da.